Good morning everyone this is Anjali Nagar again with you to give the explanation of the next topic photosynthesis Previously on nutrition we have seen how important food is to all living organisms which they get from the plants food is the fuel required by everyone to function properly and classified it into two broad mode of nutrition I hope you remember this so now let us move ahead we human being are advanced creature and the smartest living organism on this planet for convenience and the better taste we cook the food we use many spices and ingredient to satisfy the taste bud but have we really wondered what about the other living creatures do they cook their food too yeah let me straight a little on plants plants are simple and the silent living creatures on this planet so what they eat where do they get their nutrition from so i will explain with the simple example of cooking food whatever the things we require to well first need some vegetables then water and we need some heat to cook this and also add the spice and salt to make it tasty so to gain an energy what we do we cook a food and eat it but what about the plant they don't have their actually kitchen where they can cook their food but believe it or not that plants use similar element to preparing their food to get energy the leaf of the plants are like the kitchen for making their food they require chlorophyll chlorophyll is a green color pigment which is present in the leaf this chlorophyll capable to observe the sunlight from the sun then it also takes some water which is present present in the soil and carbon dioxide that present in the atmosphere now all these elements which are just saw help in the process of preparing their food which are known as the photosynthesis this food that they make is in the form of glucose a point to note here is that plant prepare food in the simplest form which is glucose and animal break down whatever the food they eat in the simplest form it's also a glucose so ultimately food is utilized by all the living organisms when it is present in the in the form of glucose but here thought to ponder upon do you think a plant will continue the photosynthesis process in the presence of artificial light say like tube light or a bulb think about it yes let me tell you that plant will grow and perform the photosynthesis process even in artificial light but the sunlight is free and ultimately it is a preferred source so after using this all material you must be wondering what is the end result of this process see the chlorophyll which is present in the leaf make the food in the form of glucose and transfer in whole plants we can explain the process of photosynthesis by the following word equation 6 co2 plus 6 h2o in the presence of chlorophyll and the sunlight c6 h12o6 plus 6o2 where co2 is carbon dioxide h2o is a water and the sunlight is required and c6 h12o6 is a form of glucose with a oxygen leaf of plants produce glucose through the photosynthesis process that already i explained you the excess glucose is then converted into starch which is the reserve food material in plants let us do this small experiment to test the presence of starch in a leaf we need a leaf boiling water alcohol iodine solution test tube spirit lamp and match box 
take a leaf from a plant that has been exposed to sunlight for several hours put a leaf in boiling water this will kill the leaf disturb the cell membrane and soften the cell wall allowing the iodine to enter the cell and react now put the leaf in test tube and cover it with alcohol now keep this test tube in the boiling water the chlorophyll slowly dissolve into the alcohol note it that alcohol turns green now place the bleached leaf in a petri dish pour iodine solution over it then note, note the color of leaf if it is change in dark green this is because iodine combined with the starch present in a leaf in form violet color complex they show the starch is present inside the leaf after completing the explanation of the photosynthesis in next video again we will meet till then thank you